Hello and welcome back to the Excel Tip videos. Today in this video, we will show you how to use second function in Excel. Microsoft Excel second function returns the seconds of a time value and it returns a number from 0 to 59 from a time. And value error occurs when any invalid serial number is supplied to the argument. Same as minute function, second function also takes only single argument which is a serial number. Serial number is the value that contains time from which you want to extract the seconds component. It can be supplied to the function as decimal numbers, texting, cell reference that contains valid time in a format that Excel recognizes, or time value returned from another function. This argument is required for the function to execute. Okay, let's see how second function works in Excel with the help of examples. We have taken the dummy data in column A and we will extract seconds from it in column B. So we start with the first example and enter second function in D9 and hit tab to autocomplete. We take A9 in the argument which holds the value 2 hours 4 minutes 18 seconds in it and hit enter. Function return 18 as the number of seconds in cell B9. Now we move on to the second example and we enter second function in cell B10 and hit tab to autocomplete. This time we will supply time directly to the argument. So we type 2 colon 4 as a minutes then colon 18 as seconds in double quotes and we hit enter. And function return 18 as number representing seconds successfully from the string. Because as we mentioned in the beginning of this tutorial, you can also supply text argument that contains valid time in a recognized format. In the third example, we will extract the seconds from a string that contains date and timestamp. So we enter second function in cell B11 and we take A11 and hit enter. The moment we hit enter, function extracted only seconds component from the date and timestamp and returned in cell B11. It ignored everything and only looked for seconds component hence returned with 45 as the answer in cell B11. So if you have such data where you have date and time components together in the same cell, you can use this function to extract only seconds component from it. In the next example, we enter second function in cell B12 and take A12, which contains a serial number. We know that Excel stores date and time as serial number, where integer portion represents date and decimal portion represents time component. Anyway, we hit enter and here you go. We can see that the function has successfully extracted seconds from the serial number which is 16 in this case and returned in cell B12. Since A12 has the underlying value, so if we change the format of A12, so let's see, so go to custom and here if we change the format of this mddyy and then here we add seconds. We will get December 1st, 2015, 9 hours, 10 minutes and 16 seconds. Okay, now we do control Z. Now we move on to the fifth example where we will take text which represent time value as a cell reference. But before we enter the formula in cell B13, let's have a look at the A13 first. At first, A13 may look like time value, but when you go to cell A13 and look at the address bar, you will see an apostrophe which is used to indicate number or formula to be treated as text or in other words its existence means that the content of the cell is in text form. Anyway we come back to B13 and enter second function and take A13 and hit enter and here you go function returns successfully with 35 that represent number of seconds in cell B13 that is because A13 has time value as text but valid time in a format that Excel recognizes and as a result function successfully returned the desired output. Now in the next example we'll see how easy it is to add or subtract seconds to and from the expected value respectively. Since Excel stores date and time as serial numbers so it is easy to add and subtract and to do the same 
we enter second function in cell B14 and take A14 which is similar to A13 but it is in time format. Anyway, we close the parenthesis and then we want to add 15 seconds in the expected seconds from A14 and hit enter. Function added 15 seconds to 35 seconds and returned 50 as the answer in cell B14. Okay, but what happens when the cell contains only date component? In that case, the function will return 0. That's because date without time component is considered as midnight value which is 0 hour, 0 minute and 0 second. Hence, the function return 0 as the output in cell B15. And let's say if you want to get current seconds from current time, you can easily get that too. To do that, you simply need to nest now function inside second function which will give you the current seconds. So, you first enter second function in cell B16 and hit tab to autocomplete. And inside second, we enter now function. Then we open and close the parenthesis without entering anything in it since now function does not take any argument. And then we close the parenthesis for second function and hit enter. As soon as we hit enter, function returns seconds from current time, but since now function is a volatile function, whenever there will be a change in the worksheet, function will recalculate every time and will return the current seconds. Uses of volatile function in the heavy file can slow down the work. In the ninth and the last example, we would supply the text in the argument and we'll see what function would return to. So we enter second function in cell B17 and take A17 which has text value in it and then we hit enter. And there you go. This time function returns value error. It is because Excel did not recognize the supplied argument as valid Excel time and as a result function returned an error value at the end. Well this is how you can use second function to extract second component from different kinds of time formats. If you like this video, don't forget to click on subscribe button to get regular updates and feel free to share this video tutorial with your friends. That's all for now. We hope you found this lesson informative. Stay tuned and keep learning with us. Thank you and have a nice day.